If I could change one thing about John Calvin, it would be that he not have been a part of the Servetus affair. I mean, everybody who loves what they have learned from John Calvin wishes that they didn't have to apologize for the fact that even though he didn't want Servetus to be burned at the stake, but done something, I mean, executed in a more a humane way, he was in favor of executing Michael Servetus for his heretical views of the Trinity. That legacy of state and church intermingling has not served the Puritan history well. It took Baptists <laughs> and Roger Williams and America and a, a redone America to get that fixed. And so I feel bad that culturally and theologically that's where he was. And we have to figure out a way to fold that into the life of the man and see how God's grace can forgive and can make him useful in spite of that sin. Jesus doesn't love everybody the same way. And the way he loves his sheep and his disciples and his children is different from the way he loves those who reject him. Listen to John 17, 9. This is the way Jesus prays for his own, his own people. John 17, 9. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world. But for those whom you have given me out of the world and they are yours. So that's who he's praying for. That's a love that he doesn't have for the world. It's called, you could call it intercessory love. Jesus today is in heaven interceding for you. He intercedes for you. He bought this intercession on the cross and he applies his own blood before the Father interceding for you to see to it that you will make it to the end, which is what he said he did for Peter just as Peter denied him. Do you remember that? I have prayed for you, Peter, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned, not if you have turned, when you have turned, strengthen your brothers. I know you're going down. I know you're coming up because I've prayed for you that your going down would not be a staying down. That's the authority of the prayer of Jesus for his own. He did not pray that for Judas. If he had... Judas would be in heaven, and he isn't.
Bye.